Good morning, AD fam. I don't know if Daniel already intro the video, but he is at the gym right now and he told me he wanted to vlog later today. So I got all dressed. Let's take a look at my outfit. Nice and cozy. <laughs> Daniel said he wanted to go to the fish store today, which is a little bit of a drive, but if you guys saw our last video, you know how much Daniel loves his fish. So we are gonna go. We will take you along because some of you actually really enjoyed learning about his fish and he had no idea. And I've been telling him like, just share it with the channel. Like it's a part of you and our channel is us. So do it. So yeah, we're gonna go to the fish store today. I don't know what else we're doing. We are filming the podcast today because that's what we do on Sundays. We film the podcast. So let's give you a little behind the scenes of our little setup. This is what it looks like behind the scenes. Look at these crazy cords. We definitely need to like tie those up or something. But yeah, that's it. So make sure to check out our podcast every Wednesday because we finally have good sound quality and camera quality and oh my gosh, we are just so happy that we we're able to provide that for you guys. It has been a journey. If you've been here along the way, thank you so much. <laughs> but anyways, I'm just gonna continue to wait for Daniel. It is eight something. I literally have no idea what time it is. He left this morning at like 6.50 because he was gonna get to the gym at seven, work out, do his deadlifts, and then come home so we could film. And then he got there and texted me, oh, sorry, they open at eight, so. Anyways, yeah, so I will check back in with you guys when Daniel gets home. So Daniel comes in and what did you say about my outfit? I said you look godly. <laughs> I guess it's fitting because it's Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I told him, I said, what does that mean? Aw, oh, he missed you. <laughs> it means you have all white on. Yeah, that's what it means. Does it mean that I'm pure? <laughs> I don't know about all that, <laughs> but... <laughs> um, so I told him that you got to the gym an hour early. Yeah, that was sick, you know? <laughs> Only because it's Memorial Day weekend. I think normally they open at 7 on Sundays. That's what it said online. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But it was all good. I watched uh, some YouTube videos and kind of chilled. And once it hit 8 o'clock, I zipped in there. You <laughs> zipped in there. What type of YouTube did you watch? I watched How to Start a Pressure Washing Business today. Nice. Because I do have an LLC that is for pressure washing. And I was just curious what other people were doing with it and how much they were charging. What's up, baby? What's on your mind? So, I know we have to go to the fish store. Yeah. Oh, we're slipping. It's literally balancing on my rock star and not really my water. I don't even think it's touching the water. I'm very hungry. Have you eaten today? I have not, but I feel nauseous because of my workout at, at the moment. I'm going to be hungry in about an hour, like starving. Yeah. As of right now, like I almost threw up like three times. Because then it'll be like lunchtime and the thing that I want is kind of like lunchtime. Oh, no. What? No, I've been wanting this for a long time, and it's not on DoorDash. In and out. Am I right? I do. Yeah, I figured. I really do, and I think he can have it today. I think if it's in his calories, because he did deadlifts, and then like brings a lot of calories. Come on, eating fan. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. I get where you're coming from, because I used to think that way. Okay, I only said that because he says that, so I thought that's how I was going to get him to say yes. I don't think that way anymore. See, the way I think is, I, I mean, I, I I can manipulate it to where we can go. We will go. Okay. We'll just start there. We we're going to go. Okay. But the workout is just extra. I don't want to cancel it out by eating extra. It almost like maintains what you have. It doesn't put you ahead. Exactly. So yeah. I just got to make sure I eat enough protein and I'll probably get it. I'll probably, what, what is it called? A protein style? Oh, yeah. I'll get no, I'll get, yeah, I'll get no bun today. I'll get a four by four protein style, no fries and a large diet Coke. I love the protein style. It's just like all meat in my mouth. All me. oh. meat. And oh, do you need to get that? No, I'm good. I'll call him back. It's Ian. You said. It's my good friend, Ian. He said all meat in my mouth right. and then Ian calls. Let, let me. Uh, Coincidence? Let, let, I think not. Let's just answer it. <laughs> so. Hey, no worries, bro. Oh, he just hung up on me. <laughs> but, I mean, it's 9, 10. I, who knows what time they open? Oh, yeah. We learn this every time. Sundays are a trash. Everything opens at like 11 or 12. You know what I mean? So, so I think choose? we should take a break from our vlog and we're going to film our podcast. And then we're going to pick back up on the vlog on our fish channel. And in the meantime, after on we watch this. On our fish channel? Not our fish channel. On our couple channel. Yes. 
but Daniel does his fish on there. Yes, Daniel does fish on there, guys. And then after this video, if you're seeing this, you should check out our podcast we're going to put out because it's going to be fun. She's being emotional. Okay, AD fam. Well, also, I'm going to start my period in a couple of days, but and we know how that is. She's being emotional, little princess. Oh, my gosh. So we're not going to be filming the podcast right now because I had a whole breakdown that I don't want to have to change my outfit because <laughs> it's a different outfit for the podcast than it is for the vlog. And so I told him, I told him, I was like, so you want me to change out of my vlog clothes to get ready, do my hair, do my makeup, to put on my podcast stuff, then do I keep on my podcast clothes? Did I only wear these clothes to be at home for five seconds? You guys are stressing her out. She, yeah. She's only trying to please you guys. No, I'm just kidding. And it's just, and it was just the whole thing. Then I start crying and I'm just like, I don't know what to do. Like, and you know, when, when it's a bad day, then we don't film. And you know, we were about to be so productive. I'm having a whole breakdown and we had to take a moment we thought about it and um we're gonna film the podcast after we vlog because we're gonna go to petco which opens at 10 and it's like nine it's like 9 30 it's like 9 30 so we're gonna go to petco at 10 and after petco we're gonna go to in and out and after in and out the other place opens at 11 and then it all works out i can wear my vlog clothes and then after that i can get ready and do the podcast so summarize she threw a fit and got her way no i didn't stop <laughs> he's lying because literally when he came up with that plan that i just told you i felt bad i was not just trying to cry to get my way i was just feeling emotional and then i told him i said is that what i did did i throw a fit to get my way like i like that idea but do you like it too because i don't want him to feel like he's always having to compromise so no, he's just being funny. Um, had to do with what was it? it? Had to do with you. I don't remember. How amazing I'm doing our relationship because I'm not. Oh you yeah, guys. nice. <laughs> oh man. No, no. She she asked me if it was okay that we do it that way, but I um I said that's not okay. I'm not okay with this. Like I want to be just most productive and film it in the morning. And she said, no, you're going to do it my way, whether you like it or not. And I was just like, sorry, don't hit me. You know, <laughs> like she's abusive. Help. <laughs> Wait, you're not okay. <laughs> yeah. Stop. People will actually take you seriously. I'm just kidding. I'm just no, kidding. No, people will take you seriously. No, no, I, I'm okay either way. Whatever works out. It doesn't matter to me, Let me guess, honestly. Because you're the chill one in the relationship. You that, just that is go with the true. flow. That's yeah. why he's okay. It, real, honestly speaking, though. I feel like I'm a little bit more chill than you. Like, I am the chill one in the relationship. I Think about it. Okay, but I tried to be chill. Did I ask for anxiety? Did I ask for depression? Did I ask to not be the chill one? No, I didn't. I didn't. Anyways, guys. We <laughs> we'll see you at Petco. So we just got to... We just got to Petco. And I'm a little nervous to film in here because last time we did for <laughs> Vlogmas, this lady like yelled at us and told us to put it away. You can't film in here. No, she You was, can't film in here. She was so rude. Like I honestly wanted to go off on her, Dude, but I knew it wasn't. So a, no, I literally was like, we're not going here anymore. We're boycotting pet co. Forget this place. <laughs> and then we came back. But every time I see her, I'm just like, ugh. Guess so. what? We're still gonna film in here. <laughs> so we're gonna try and we're gonna see and, and I was like, what if she's here? He's like, I hope she is. That'd be good content. No, nah, we're gonna be sneaky about it though. We're not gonna try to cause problems. But like, honestly, if she comes up, can you please just film her? I am. I'm on FaceTime. What are you talking about? Yeah. Did you want to say hi to my family? Exactly. Have the 60 gallon, huh? Uh, I don't know. This is really big. I don't think you have something this big, do you? No, it's the 35 that I have at home. I think so. Yours looks more like this. This looks like a big daddy. So that's 20 inches. So I can fit 10 gallon. Oh, it tells me, but still, I like the measure. Bro, she's acting scared right now, so I took over the phone. No, there is an employee coming in. I was scared it's gonna tell us no. And once you get told no, we can't do it. If no one says nothing, we can still do it. She's being a wussy. Because is this where he surrendered Tanner? Yeah, that, that, don't th he looks like Tanner. Yeah, no, that's what I'm make the Tanner. Um, get a couple people knocked up before you left. Right, that looks like Tanner. Little red red sliders. Don't you have it at your mom's house? Yep, we have two huge ones They look mom's much house. cuter at here. These are like kits. You know what I mean? Like, I buy this box. It comes with like a hang on the back and filter. Like, it's everything you need. Look at this little avocado. And you love avocados. You just, you just got a, what is it, sun visor or whatever? Mm -hmm. I know the Vallejo Aquarium that I want to go to has the bigger version of this. Because uh -huh. I have one of those, but... Mm -hmm. I don't know. These are the aggressive fish. Wanna fight, bro? Yeah. 
though. And it's a tiger Oscar there, not friendly. I didn't agree you that agree we can to it. No, I didn't agree that we can have a fish in the main space. Fish tank in the main space. I'm just asking hypothetically if we do, is that what we're looking at right now? Are these tanks going in the main space? Because I don't want to agree on a huge tank and then it'd be in the living room. You don't want a huge tank in the living room? Well, I don't know. But also we didn't agree on where to put it. We're not putting it where the Christmas tree goes. I do like 40 gallon breeders. That's tempting to get. And the space I have is in the fish room. Uh -huh. This isn't the main area. Yeah. Um, is fits these perfectly lengthwise, which yeah. is 20 and a fourth. Well, I, I love this one. I really do. You do like that one? But that's why I was like, wait, hold on. Is this going to go in the living room? Because even though it's nice, it's big. So should we go to the Leo Aquarium and potentially look at the other Fluval spec, the bigger one? Because I think that one's like a 14 gallon. And then if worse comes to worse, they were closer to home at Petco, so we can just do that. Yeah. This is a monumental moment in history that the drive through is not um, busy. And, and Daniel goes, we came at prime time, huh? It's literally... Um, breakfast. 10.43. We're getting in and out for breakfast. And you know what? I'm not mad about it because I love in and out and I've been going in and out for a very long time. It's so early that they're going to make us do the order in the box. I, I don't remember the last time. Not I even that. with the person. That's crazy. Yeah. What do you want? Just a double double? Mm -hmm. you know? Plain, yeah. How can I help you there today? And that'll be it. Alright, and is this gonna be for the car? Uh, yes, please. Oh, okay. We just never can settle, and that's why, even though we try to get ahead, I still feel like we're behind because I just wanna do more. Yeah, no, I feel it. But we are doing more now. We are doing more. I you know we're growing. Yeah. Better be careful, I'm not wearing any boob tape. <laughs> Boobs gonna pop out? Mm -hmm, probably. I mean, most people probably wouldn't mind it. But. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Lap mats. Oh my gosh, this is a whole new experience. I've never gotten to eat in the car before. You get a lap, a lap mats, which is nice because I wipe pants. Thank you, have a great day. Thank you, you too. <laughs> Can you imagine if she looked out the window and my leg was in the air? I know. Like, that's not what those mats are for. It's <laughs> not a potty pad. <laughs> I know. You see our Mother's Day vlog? Yeah, I lost my card in Carmel after I just lost my um, entire purse the day before on our double date. So yeah, I'm pretty per, per, pretty good. Pretty pro. Yeah, I don't know what I was trying to say. I was gonna say prepared, but that didn't even make sense. Dude, my footage is so bad. It's like a placemat, but a lap mat. The goddamn placemat. The key to our delicious double double has always been freshness. Mmm. Can, can I get a box, an extra box? Yeah, no. oh, Thank you. It's hot. Thanks, man. You have a wonderful day. It's hot. It's so fresh. Oh my god. Straw. Cool. I don't know why I got a medium. I always get a large drink. I drink some we got in like two seconds. Dang, this is so soggy. It's literally just ripping off. Like. That's not, I, know, I don't know. Dude, these fries are so hot and so fresh and so delicious. <laughs> You've been wanting In-N-Out for so long. Oh my god. That's all it is. No, In-N-Out's pretty good. But the best. Point. I think your phone is ringing yeah, again. It is. I got, I got business stuff. Daniel is so popular. He literally he gets home and then starts a new business of talking on the phone. <laughs> I know. I'm going to take this too or I'm going to call him back in a second. Sorry guys. That was a long phone call. She was getting impatient over here just like tapping her fingers. No, it's because I'm excited to get this hot burger and it's going to be cold. <laughs> but anyways, before we... Before we start, how about a <laughs> okay, so we can start now. I didn't let him even eat anything while he was on the phone. She was eating fries, and now I was just sitting no, here like. No, it's because he gets carried away. He was gonna eat too bro, much. This four by four is like about but, to be the one. Y'all, this is the key to eating comfortably in the car. But first, you gotta take off your shoes. No, get your stinky feet out of here. I don't want to smell those while I eat. No, and they're not stinky. I guess <laughs> <laughs> I'm choking on fries. <laughs> they're not stinky. Probably because you didn't share with me. Th that's why? Yeah, they're I'm not stinky so. because mm. they're just not. That's good. It's good. Mm. Even though you got like a salad on your burger. Whew. Oh! Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Oh, I like that. It's good. Are you having a moment? <laughs> I was singing, um, what was that song they sing in the beginning of like, um, like football games and stuff. Yeah. Um, uh, the national anthem? I was singing the national anthem in my head while I was eating this because it's so delicious. What? <laughs> it never disappoints. 
It honestly, in and out does never disappoint though. Like, I got cold fries one time, but their fries are even good cold, so I didn't complain. Mm -hmm. I think this is the first thing I'm using today. But also, it's only like 10.30. So. Me, too, me too. Mm. This will be a nice refill after my workout. Yeah, I'm not really refilling any. I'm not refueling from anything except my sleep. Oh, you're stressed? <laughs> my little breakdown this morning, yeah. that's why I'm refueling from. It really like, took a lot out of me. Yeah, too. Your little fit took a lot out of you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Maybe I see your anger, babe. Yeah, you know, I'm starting to get full. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are talking, my stomach is just it's just sucking up, it's getting full. You guys are making me upset. Did you get stressed again? Okay. No. No, I'm fine about I think this is disgusting. If you do this, I'm sorry, but I, I am. <laughs> I know what you're about to say. I'm judging you hard, and usually I don't judge anyone. <laughs> when you take a bite and then you take a sip of your drink, immediately. <laughs> disgusting. Absolutely not. You're getting floaters in your drink. My eight-year-old brother does that. We, It's fine. I don't share drinks with him. It's fine. He's eight. If you're an adult still doing this, you need to stop. That is disgusting. You should not be getting a snack when you take a drink. That's probably why you like boba, too. You probably like boba, too, because you like a little extra. I love boba. I don't. It's disgusting. I don't do that. Okay, I know you don't do that, but, like, it's just... There's not supposed to be solids in my liquid. All right, well... Daniel's already finished with this food, it looks like. So we should probably um turn off the camera so I can finish so we can get Four by four, there. down. That hurt, I know it hurt. You know it's bad when you feel the texture of you biting your lip. Yeah, and it like rolls. Yeah, it's, oh my god, yeah, I'm, really, I'm literally leading. Yeah. Oh yeah, you got yourself good. Right in the corner of your lip. It's like, the question is though, is in this situation, did you bite your lip or did you bite your cheek? Because that's that's a fine line right there. I think I bought a bit like my chin skin. Oh my gosh, what do I do? I don't want my food to taste like copper. You just drink some drink, wait for it. And your mouth blood clots really quick. You know, your mouth is one of the fastest healing things. So. It literally happened five seconds after we stopped the video. No, literally, I'm, like, I'm just gonna finish. My you know what I think it is? Is I was like, oh, I'm gonna, I was enjoying my food, but I think I was trying to be in a hurry so we could just move on, like, to our next thing. And I just. You got a question for you. Yeah. It makes you feel like we're in a hurry. I don't know. I just feel bad because like I was taking a long time to eat. But I guess you're still eating your fries. And it's literally only 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's cool. That's how they feed, I'm pretty sure. So they can eat and then they just take it out so it stays clean. That's super cool. I love that one, Jordan. Over here, right here. 16-down specs, right here, bam. That's the thing that you want? This is the one, yeah. Okay, nice. So they do have some. So how much is it though? Where is the, oh, 239 for this one. But see how it looks very similar to the small thing I have with the shrimp? Mm hmm Except instead of five, it's 16 gallons. Nice. So I think it comes in with a light and everything. Just like the other one, mine does have a light for it, but I use different lights. But I, if I'm only growing moss and like low light plants, this light should be plenty good enough. I mean, it says highly output LED, three stage, three stage filtration. So what they mean by that is there's big sponge in here and there's a section for filtered media, a section for carbon. I love the tanks here though. But see this combo? Oh, this is reef ready. So this is for- There's a lot of tanks water. here. But this could be a fresh water. I love this one. This is 135 gallon. That's random. This is 100 gallon. I like. I love it. Mm -hmm. The combo deals. This definitely has a much better variety of tanks. No, they have like, and then they have stands with them, which I love. But I think we're going to get that other one. What do you think? I think, yeah. home and i am exhausted and we still have to film a podcast i almost got two of these but i decided to start with one 
see how it goes, see if I how much I really like it. Mm -hmm, but, for sure. Yeah. So Daniel is gonna give you a little unboxing haul of all the stuff he got. So <laughs> let's get to it. Got this uh, Fluval Spec. So Fluval is a pretty good brand in the US. At least I like them. I do like this spec thing. It makes things really easy. I mean, I, I've i been the route of where you just self do everything. You just buy basically a glass box and do it yourself. But this actually comes with everything and we got a good price on it. So when we were out there, we saw it was on sale for $239. Um, I was like, oh, look it up on Amazon real quick. I'm just curious or online. Mm -hmm. It was like $280 something. But we paid cash for it. So he gave us out the door for $240. That's what he said. Bring cash in the future. Yeah. You'll always get a deal. So I'm pretty excited. It's 14 gallons. Um, I'm pretty excited what we can do with it. I'm actually feeling like our escape's going to look pretty close to what that is, but mm -hmm. we'll see. Anyway, that's the important stuff there. And then over here is some of the stuff we're going to be using in it. So I got some uh, moss here, uh, weeping moss. Mm -hmm. I actually don't have any of that. All I have is fadiscus, I think is what it's called. The moss I don't know and java moss. So uh, we'll start that in the tank. We got an assortment of different plants here that I'm not going to show you yet. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I'm like trying to do the camera. Like, let me get it. <laughs> you have to wait and look at next episode of my little mini series of setting up this food ball spec. I'll even do the setup on the tank and show you how to set up everything. It's going to be fun, guys. We got this. Ooh, that was a good catch. That was nice. Fritz is a really good uh, brand. So this is a beneficial bacteria that basically instantly cycles your tank. Um, some people recommend you dose it multiple times throughout the week to get things going, but I just dose it and I've never had a problem with a fish dying. So good stuff here. We got the substrate because I, I, I've been liking simple tanks like the one I just showed you guys I just set up, right? But Miss Amanda right here <laughs> wanted to do a planted tank. So I bought some planted substrate, really good brand. It's by Seachem. Um, I said in the store, I said, I think that's by Seachem. <laughs> he said, see Kim? I said, oh. <laughs> so we got that. And then this is just, I'm actually going to throw this. This isn't even for the tank, but I'm going to throw one of them in the shrimp tank. These are for shrimp. And then these are Flores tabs by Sea Kim, I believe, as well. You put these in the substrate for even more nutrients. Nice. So stay tuned. I already have rocks. I have wood. I have everything I need to get this baby up and running. I hope you like it when it's done. So if you do watch next video and with that being said 80 fam we hope that you subscribe we hope that you like the video if you did make sure to give it a like please yes so <laughs> more people can like the video as well and enjoy this wonderful content that we're giving to you but until next time 80 fam we love you so so much bye see you next time